Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest gruesome and grotesque video. Well, I was teasing this the other day when it came to an article that I found, and in it, it was giving some more details as far as the situation that occurred earlier this summer. Uh, there was a missing body report when it came to an actor, and then ultimately his body was found. The way it was found and the info that I read within the article, which I'll include a link for it below, it was just something that was just so gruesome to me, especially the way that somebody would just basically go out and when it comes to the ending of his life in this world, the emptiness surrounding his location, not knowing where he is, just basically dying by himself out there in the middle of nowhere. It's just something that I felt that I just had to share here within this series. So again, I'll include the link for it below. Um, there's other links tied to it too. It's a way for you to get all the information associated with it, but I'll include some of it here for this video. But it has to do with this. It's, a, it's the missing body report associated with an actor named Charles Levins. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all the info tied to this missing body report and then ultimately the way he was found and why I have to share it here within this series. So who was uh, Mr. Charles Levins? Well, he was one of those actors that has been a, uh, in a steady body of work throughout several decades. It's one of those deals where he, he's, he has that face, no doubt that if you see him, you wondered and you're scratching your head, I've seen him before, I know him, I just can't exactly place where he's from. Various other actors have that distinction. I remember there was also like a famous documentary uh, tying in a bunch of other actors with those the, the the same kind of features here though mr charles levin he was in uh, several notable works like films like annie hall and then also uh this is spinal tap uh on the more recent side if, if you call it that he was more uh popular when it came to having a prominent episode in seinfeld as well and then various other TV parts too. I think there was one that he was in a cop show too um, as well. But yes, ultimately he was an actor that enjoyed a good number of, of decades of work throughout multiple fields of entertainment. Ultimately though, he ended up moving to a location there in Oregon. Um, there's various names associated with it um, where he ended up moving. Um, and in fact, when I was looking at the info as far as where he was found, it was known as being like Cave Junction. In, in there in Oregon and there's another one called Cave Creek and then there's another location called Deer Creek as well and then another place that was nearby his area called Grants Pass. Someone that lives in all of those areas there in that state, please let me know um, ultimately which area is specifically the one that should be referred to. But the key point is he moved to a location that had less than 2,000 people living within it. Um, in fact, 2,000 people is like nothing. I, I bet there's like 2,000 people alone living within my own square block here in Austin, Texas. So imagine the surroundings this of this city, 2,000 people, and then practically nothing over it. Um, I mention all of this because ultimately what led to Mr. Charles Levin's demise had to do with him wandering off near and around that city that he was at and then finding it impossible to be able to find his way back. So here's what happened. If you cut to the fateful day of, it looks like around June 28th, he was traveling around a location there uh, near Cave Junction. And as he did so, he was not finding Finding himself within a familiar area. This was a situation where, for some reason, he decided to go down what was considered a desolate mountain road in a remote in a remote part near that location. I don't. People to this in the articles I'm reading were stating they don't know exactly why that is. One person that was a police officer was mentioning that. Another person who was a local was mentioning that too. And then uh, that same person was baffled at the fact that this guy, Mr. Charles Levin had a Fiat, which you're looking at here. This was his Fiat. This was the one that he was taking down that road. The reason why this is important is because apparently this was a horrible, absolutely horrible road to travel down to. It was so treacherous to traverse into it. 
that it completely tore up his car. And not only that, but it also tore up the ATVs of the people that ended up trying to find them as well. So again, why he decided to go down that road, one neighbor was surmising that maybe he was trying to take a shortcut to get to his location, but ultimately it was that shortcut that ended up being his demise. So Mr. Charles Evans went down that road, again for some unknown reason, and he went down that road also with his pug, which you're looking at a picture of here, and then that way he could try to get down, uh, take that shortcut, and then get down to his home. But what happened was, of course, that road became severely impassable. He tried his best to apparently um, to get through it. Evidence shows, in fact, that the car that he took was again very mangled up from this attempt. It was destroyed. No doubt, it seems like from the tires or something else that was preventing him from getting to it. In fact, also the area surrounding the tires was considered also uh, severely disturbed, meaning that he was uh, stuck. Like it was almost like the car became into some area that was described as being completely unearthed. Those are the direct quotes. And then that way he was not able to get out of it. So there he was now on an impassable road, miles and miles away, at least according to one estimate, now nine miles plus, And he was in a situation where he couldn't call for help. This was because apparently that tiny, tiny road, whatever it was that he took, ultimately got him away from some kind of GPS signal. So he couldn't have any phone calls made, nor could there be anything to find his location. And if you're wondering, how's that happened? Like, how did you have something where suddenly, you know, something's not found, uh, especially with today's phones? A lot of people don't know this, but your phone, my phone, everyone else's phone, if it's at least some kind of 4G or 4G LTE phone, they're actually made with uh, with an uh, with an inner device for GPS purposes, and this is because if something happens, like let's say you're making a phone call in an emergency, and all of a sudden it's hung up on, then the police can ultimately track that exact location where the phone call was coming from. Here, though, the where where he was located, that signal just wasn't found because of its spot. It has it is something that has occurred. Um, myself, in fact, I was driving down very very remote parts of Texas uh, about two years or so ago, and when I traveled to one point, all of a sudden, my signals were completely lost, like it was just gone. So for a couple minutes during that spare time, there was nothing there that was working on my phone in terms of any signal. And then, poof, like, just like that, all of a sudden, the signal was back once I came back to some kind of nearby tower. It's that very specific. Um, and so I totally imagine that when he starts to go down that road, the signal became less and less just because of the radius of whatever that 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 nearby cell tower is from and then that was it he was just literally gone from the face of the map when it comes to anything trackable so there he was now in a road that was completely impassable his car was completely shuttered and then he couldn't get out of the situation there so he decided to do what he considered the next best thing and then that was get out of the car and then try to find his closest location to civilization but again, it's in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the situation was he was nowhere to be any, even near, like any place where he could yell, call for help, something where someone would probably hear him from a nearby situation and then come to his rescue. So imagine that, imagine that isolatedness. Imagine truly being out there in the middle of nowhere and not having any way or form to have somebody get in touch with you. And here you are lost. Your car is completely broken down. You have nothing in terms of any direction as far as what's the best way to go north south east west nothing that you could point towards any direction that 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 would help and now you're trying to find and pick and choose which way to go so isn't that crazy like that would be something that would be just horrifying in that situation, the helplessness associated with it. Several of you have asked me, why not just go visit some of those forests that um, that happen to have strange disappearances, you know, do some investigations there, or why not hunt for some cryptids in some isolated areas? And I mentioned it in the past, and I'll mention it again. If there's any chance of me getting lost, just like it happened here with Mr. Charles Levin, there's no chance of me doing it. So I try, I try to stay as safe as I can during those travels just for situations like this. So ultimately what led to his demise was he picked the route. He decided to finally go ahead. And according to the evidence found, he, he, he decided to go and just go somewhere and hope for the best. 
but he came across to some embankment, something that involves uh, some kind of slope. My guess is that he decided he had to cross that slope, and so he wanted to essentially try to maybe ease himself down it. Maybe he saw something nearby that was a good indicator of some form of civilization. Who knows? But he decided to go down that slope, and then that was it. He fell off of that slope. So that slope, he must have slipped. He lost his grip, something like that, and he decided... Um, that, that I mean when he was deciding to go down it and then that was it he rolled all the way to the bottom and then uh, he was injured injured to the point where he was not able to get back up and then that was his his final resting point so imagine that too imagine being in a situation here you are helpless in the middle of nowhere no way to get up and then there's nothing else you can do you can't even call for help because there's no chance of anyone being able to come nearby uh, your surroundings and so that was his ultimate demise i don't know if uh, the way he fell if it was enough for him to lose consciousness which hopefully was the better situation or if he was stranded there and and, and again just wondering um, ultimately what would happen to him but he ended up dying in that very same spot and then uh, the more gruesome part comes eventually uh, somebody there a traveler found his fiat and then um, in a more bit of sad news they found the dead body of his pug which tells you that his pug he probably had his, his pugs his beloved pug stayed there in the car while he went for some help and then here's this poor pug uh, stranded within that car um, in the in the heat no less that would last who knows how long during some kind of midday all the way towards the afternoon uh, no doubt like succumbing to it and then he, so this traveler found the pugs with the decomposing body in there and then that's when he called the authorities authorities came over they decided to do a search and then uh, the way the story was reading was they had to actually again the atvs that they were using were so damaged by going down this road they were shocked that the fiat could even get this far into it that they had to do it by foot so they traveled for a little while by the, by good by by foot and then finally when they went to the slope that's where they found his body if you want to know what the ultimate sign was that pointed to the discovery of his body it's just like anything else out there in the wilderness, vultures. Vultures eventually led to the finding of Mr. Levin's body. That's where they found a bunch of vultures surrounding it. It was partially confused, uh, partially consumed, I'm sorry. And then that's when they realized that that was him. And then um, whenever they added that with the missing car and then his dead bug, uh, pug, which was named Boo Boo Bear, uh, that's when they added two plus two. And they realized this was the missing person that was being reported because he went ultimately missing like i mentioned on june 28th and this was on july 13th that his body was found by that slope so isn't that just something so gruesome that's why again i wanted to include it here within this series because here you have somebody that ended up becoming lost because of a bad decision going down the middle of a road that was just horribly horribly just uh just just a bad road to travel down to car ended up uh, being damaged from it and you had tried everything you could to get this car out but there was no chance no hope and then you were trying to call and trying to find something that would point towards uh, help and then of course the phone would not work in that situation and then not knowing exactly where you are you just had to finally pick something in terms of a location to head to but it would be the wrong path and then that would be where the slope would ultimately cause his demise and then not only that but falling down into that slope and then having some sort of injuries from it so that so you're not able to get up and then that's it that's the end of it what a horrible way to go out so but again my condolences to that for as far as uh, Mr. Charles Levin, and then the uh, the way he ended up going. I have never seen any of his work. I don't know if anyone else has out there. If you have, uh, please let me know. Like as far as uh, what you thought of his work when he was uh, an actor. Uh, if you've seen that Seinfeld episode or any of the other work there too. But again, my condolences for his situation and then what ended up happening. So, but if anybody has anything else I might have missed, please post those comments below. Um, plus, to check out the links because again, it'll show more information as far as uh, uh, other stuff associated with his, his reports and then that way you'll get to get a more full of pictures so all right everyone thanks again as always take care